What does the future of air dominance look like, and what role will the sixth generation fighters play in shaping it? These are pressing questions in an era where the balance of power in the skies is a crucial determinant of global security. The concept of air dominance has evolved over the years, with each generation of fighters pushing the boundaries of what's possible in aerial combat. But the next big leap in this evolution is the sixth generation fighter. Enter the Next Generation Air Dominance Project, or NGAD, an ambitious endeavor initiated by the U.S. Air Force. The goal of NGAD is not just to build a new fighter jet, but to enhance air dominance capabilities with improved lethality and survivability in highly contested environments. This isn't about tweaking what already exists, it's about reimagining the future of air combat. The NGAD project is set to redefine the future of air combat, but how did it all start? The NGAD project was initiated with the aim of replacing the F-22 Raptor by 2030. Now, to appreciate the magnitude of this task, let's take a brief detour down memory lane. The F-22 Raptor, a marvel in its own right, was introduced back in 2005, quickly becoming the cornerstone of U.S. air superiority. Its combination of stealth, speed, and agility coupled with advanced avionics set a new benchmark in air combat capabilities. However, despite its prowess, the ever-evolving landscape of aerial warfare demanded a new breed of fighter jets enter the NGAD project. Launched by the U.S. Air Force, this ambitious endeavor aims to not just match, but exceed the capabilities of the F-22. The vision? To enhance air dominance with an improved blend of lethality and survivability, particularly in highly contested environments. The NGAD platform isn't just about creating a new fighter jet, it's about a holistic approach to air dominance. Envision a mix of crewed and unmanned aircraft, seamlessly integrated with cyber and electronic systems, all working in unison. And with that, with the initiation of the NGAD project, the race towards a sixth-generation fighter was on. But what makes a fighter a sixth-generation one? The criteria are not as clear as you might think. The concept of fighter generations isn't an official designation, but rather a subjective industry term that's based on significant advancements in aircraft capabilities. It's a way to mark the evolution of these incredible machines, from the propeller-driven fighters of the first generation right up to the stealthy, networked jets of the fifth generation. Let's take a moment to look at fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 Raptor. These jets introduced key features like stealth, integrated computer systems, multi-role capabilities, and supercruising. They can fly faster than the speed of sound, without using fuel-guzzling afterburners. They can perform air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions in the same sortie, all while remaining virtually invisible to enemy radar. Now, let's leap into the future and consider the expected features of a sixth-generation fighter. These aren't just upgrades or tweaks to existing technology, they're game-changing advancements that will redefine air dominance. First off, we're talking about advanced digital platforms that streamline and enhance everything from mission planning to post-flight debriefing. Onboard artificial intelligence, or AI, will reduce the workload of the pilot, allowing them to focus on the mission at hand. Data fusion will bring together information from a wide range of sources, giving pilots a complete and accurate picture of the battlefield. Communication is key in modern warfare, and sixth-generation fighters are expected to feature advanced communications equipment that will allow them to network with other assets, both in the air and on the ground. Virtual cockpits will use augmented reality to give pilots unprecedented situational awareness. And let's not forget the engines. Variable cycle engines will allow these new fighters to switch between high-thrust modes for supersonic flight and efficient modes for subsonic cruising. The sixth-generation fighter is set to significantly surpass its predecessors in terms of technological integration and operational capabilities. With these advancements, the skies of the future will be a very different place. So, where are we now in the development of the sixth-generation fighter? Well, the U.S. Air Force has been keeping details about the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, project under wraps. However, Recent reports have shed some light on what we can expect. We're looking at a future configuration of American air dominance that includes a staggering 1,000 advanced loyal wingman drones, 305th generation F-35 Lightning II fighters, and the main headliner, 206th generation NJD fighters. The U.S. isn't the only player in the game, though. Countries like Russia, 
China, Japan, the UK, and France are also developing their own concepts for sixth-generation fighters. But the US is expected to be the first to field a sixth-generation fighter, thanks in part to an impressive investment of over $100 billion. The future of air dominance is set to be redefined by the sixth-generation fighter, a symbol of advanced technology and operational capabilities. The sky, it seems, is no longer the limit.